It's, it's June, the sixth month of the year. In Australia, this month marks the start of winter and it's been quite chilly so far. For me, June is a month of reflection. As the first half of the year comes to an end, I wanna share with you some photography related thoughts I've had in the first six months of the year and some goals that I would like to achieve in the following six. A couple of days ago, I brought my Contax T2 to Manly Beach in Sydney and shot some film photos during the sunset. And today I received the film negatives, so I wanted to scan them and share with you that experience while I discuss these few thoughts that I've had. So I think this is my first shot here. It's quite like symmetrical. You've got the gates coming in, you've got this little red bin and you've got the nice trees here. So I'm just gonna frame this up and see where it goes. As I was shooting that image, this car just pulled by next to it. Um, this old like Toyota, I think it looks kind of cool as well. So at this point it's been one whole year that I've made this YouTube channel and I've made quite a handful of videos so far. I've been doing photography for many years now but videography at a consistent basis is something that I haven't really done before. So for the first half of the year I've really been trying to improve my videography and editing skills with these YouTube videos. If you're a fellow creator I'm sure you can relate with this but practice might not make perfect but it does make better and I've noticed this with my last few videos. Whoa, look at this scenery. My storytelling ability as well as my just editing skills have become a lot cleaner and I can tell that with each video that I make I am slowly improving. I do have to say though that it's not all positive things as the extra effort that I need to put into these photography related videos can really distract me at some times and put me under pressure for better or for worse. If you're recording your content, this can be a bit of a distraction as you would have to find your image, set up your video for the shot, and then you'd have to walk into frame and then do all the photography yourself. As a lot of other YouTube creators that do photography, they always say that the content we show you on these videos, it's not our best work. And that's simply because we can't produce our best work while we are distracted with doing another task, which is essentially creating the video for the audience. Just waiting for the wave, got it. Waiting for the wave, got the picture. That one's gonna be pretty cool. I might take another one actually, just in case. Since there's so much texture in the waves over here, I just want to um, capture the landscape. This grass in the foreground, I think I can split the image into and, um, yeah. This is just a quick break in the video to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks. So this year I've been consciously reaching out to a lot more creatives in the Sydney area and trying to do a lot of collaborations and assisting with other creative projects. Branching out and networking has never really been my strong point, but I've been trying to build connections with models and other photographers locally. Networking can be a bit tiring, but I am glad that I've made a few more friends that have similar interests that I can work with and be inspired from. With these friends, I've had the opportunity to shoot at a couple of studio spaces and it's been quite fun.
So in the next few months, I want to focus more on the photography side of creating and getting in as many photo shoots as I can. To find one's own style is a unique journey that is different for everybody and I'm definitely going through it myself right now. And I think the best way I can go about this is keep practicing, trying different techniques and seeing what I enjoy shooting and what I don't, you know? Look what we found. We found a little rock pool. The water's so clean, so clear. I'm, uh, the light's sort of running out, so I wasn't sure if we could make any more photos this afternoon, but you know, with ISO 1800 film, maybe we can get something here. Okay. <laughs> so many cute dogs. Oh. <laughs> The last time I travelled outside of Australia was in 2020. Spending the last two years in Sydney has forced me to try to find as much creativity and inspiration in my home city. However, like most people, travelling always gives you those creative juices and just gets your mind running on new ideas and things you would never have thought of. I guess I want to call this a goal of mine, but I do want to travel back to Japan, visit my family and just try to link up with as many creative people as possible in the cities of Japan. Every time I go back to Japan, I always visit my hometown in Chiba. I go to Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka. This time I want to travel up to Hiroshima, which I've never done before. So that will be very exciting. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You can watch one of my other videos right here.